Hello and welcome back to another breaking news update. My name is Jimmy Boyd and you are watching Boyd News. I want to thank you so much for tuning in today. I've got some breaking news coming out here for you and an update regarding the war in Ukraine. So just today, Ukraine has launched another drone attack inside of Russia, targeting up to 1,300 kilometers inside of Russia. So we have a oil facility called Teneco, the Teneco oil refinery, and also a suicide drone facility that was hit as well by what are called airplane drones. These are Cessna type airplane drones that Ukraine is using. And they call them airplane drones because they're almost the size of like a small airplane, like one with a propeller on the front that you would normally see like private airplanes being used uh, around the world. So very crazy what we're seeing here. I've got lots of information coming out. And also Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov uh, telling the press that the military is working to minimize this threat and eventually remove it altogether in a conference call with reporters. So I've got video footage here. I've got a map pulled up to show you uh, where these attacks have taken place. And it's apparently in, in the province of Tartarstan, uh, which is very deep. Okay, This is probably one of the deepest strikes, if not the deepest strike inside of Russian territory since this war began. Okay, so Let's get right into this. I've got video footage here uh, showing this attack on the suicide uh, drone facility. Unfortunately, we don't have any footage from the uh, attack on the on the oil facility here, but I do have a photo real quick. There's a photo there for you of that actual facility. This thing's absolutely massive, and it got struck. There was a fire there. Um, I don't believe there was any like major critical damage that was done to this refinery but I wasn't able to find any video footage online of this of the drone actually striking the facility. Okay, so let's show you this here now. Let's get right into this. So here's a video of the suicide drone facility uh, coming under attack. There's like a dormitory too. I've got word that there's like a dormitory that got struck. I believe that's what this video might be showing is a dormitory nearby the suicide drone facility because it's in the same town. And uh, we have reports that there might be like 13 injuries or potentially people that may have died from this attack. So let's let's show you this and get right into that. Okay, so somebody was clearly recording this from their phone to show you the uh, video footage, but there you can see that that drone, it clearly looks like an airplane. It almost doesn't even look like a drone, but apparently these are, um, a they're AI controlled and they can control it and just crash it into whatever they want. And because it's a bigger plane, it can carry a heavier payload. And as you can see, that explosion is absolutely massive. And I've, I've shown multiple video footage of... Um, of oil facilities coming under attack and these drones are much smaller they're they're like uh not much bigger than than a small like drone that you would see flying around your neighborhood okay they're very tiny um and whenever they explode they create a fireball probably half this size so these are obviously much bigger drones that are being used so i wanted you to see that and i also have another video that's uh Similar as well. Okay, I don't know if this is from a different angle. This might be the same attack, but it's some people on the ground seeing this explosion happening in real time. So we'll get this up here for you and let's take a look. Yeah, what? Yeah, what? Okay, so as you can see in this video, these people are very frightened. They can see this drone coming in that it's about to crash into that building. Um, it's kind of hard to tell from this angle where exactly this drone struck. It looks like they're kind of higher up on a hill where this road is at. It looks like there might be a road right there. And uh, they're all running away from this explosion when it blows up. So I don't know if this is the same attack. This might be a separate attack uh, than the one we just watched earlier, but it looks kind of similar uh, with how big that explosion is. So I wanted you to see that. Um, and also, I have a map here. We're going to show you how deep these strikes were inside of Russia. Okay. So here's Ukraine down here. 
and the Ukrainian border. So they're firing these drones somewhere around this region, okay? Not too close to the border, maybe about 200 kilometers or so inward of Ukraine. And they fire them from here. And look at how far out there this drone struck, okay? Way past Moscow. Moscow is probably about 600 kilometers, 500 kilometers inside Russia. And then they fire them about 1,300, 1,200 kilometers way deep. And I've reported many attacks over here like Nizhny Novgorod and Samara region uh, coming under attack. These are probably around uh, 900 to 1,000 kilometers deep into Russia. But then we have this attack way over here. So two attacks that occurred. This is the uh, Teneco oil facility right here, okay, near this town of Nizhnykamsk. I'm probably butchering that, but it's in the Republic of Tatarstan. And uh, right here is where this happened, right next to this town for this uh, oil facility that got hit, right? And then also over here in Yelabuga, this is another city nearby, came under attack by those drones in that video that I showed you, those two videos, where there's a suicide drone facility where they're manufacturing these uh, Shahid drones that are being launched into Ukraine. Okay, so that's where this other attack took place. So again, look at how deep these drones are reaching inside Russia. I mean, almost, man, a good, I don't know, quarter of the way into the entire uh, country of Russia. And Russia is absolutely massive. So the fact that Ukraine has been able to launch these attacks so deep, this puts majority of their, their oil facilities, which a lot of them are located on the, on the western side of Russia, they can reach just about majority of their, their oil facilities if they want to. So again, Dmitry Peskov, the military spokesperson, coming out and saying that uh, they, uh, they're doing everything they can to prevent these attacks. But at the same time, I, I think what Ukraine is doing here is they're probably launching dozens of them at a time of these drones. And maybe some of the air defenses take them down, but it only takes a few, one or two of them to break through and look at how far they can travel. And especially if it's one of these bigger airplane drones, they could do some massive damage. Okay, so... I just wanted you to see that, and I also got a couple articles we're going to go over here to give you some extra information. So first, let's talk about this Teneco oil refinery getting hit. So on Reuters here, Ukrainian drone hits Russia's third largest uh, refinery, damage not critical. Ukrainian drone struck Russia's third largest oil refinery on Tuesday, about 1,300 kilometers from the front lines, hitting a unit that processes about 155,000 barrels of crude per day. Uh, though an industry source said it had caused no critical damage. Russian officials said its jamming device is locked onto a Ukrainian drone near Tafnev's Teneco refinery, which has an annual production capacity of more than 17 million tons. That's a lot of crude, or 340,000 barrels per day. Pictures from the scene indicated the drone hit the primary refining unit, CDU-7, at the refinery in Russia's highly industrialized Tartarstan region, uh, though it did not appear to have caused serious damage. The industry source, who spoke to Reuters on condition of anonymity, said the personnel was returning to the plant. A fire broke out of the refinery but was extinguished within 20 minutes, the state news agency RIA said, adding that output had not been disrupted. So that's some of the news on the latest here with this attack at the uh, Teneco oil refinery. So again, as far as we know, it was struck. Uh, there was a fire that was put out, but apparently no critical damage was done to this uh, facility. And again, here's a picture of it. So absolutely massive facility that got struck. Um, I'm surprised this wasn't targeted much sooner because of how big of a facility it is. Because I've seen many of the other ones that were hit and they were much smaller than this one. All right. So finally, on Yahoo News here. Ukraine aims drones at an oil refinery and a drone factory in its deepest strike yet inside Russia. Ukrainian drones attacked one of Russia's biggest oil refineries at a drone factory in the Russian province of Tartarstan, officials said Tuesday in what appeared to be Kiev's deepest strike inside Russian territory since the war began more than two years ago. The attack on facilities near the cities of Yelabuga and Nizhnykamsk, located some 1,200 kilometers east of Ukraine, injured 12 people. So we got 12 people that were injured in these strikes, Russian regional authorities said, in recent months, Russian refineries and oil terminals have become priority targets of Ukrainian drone attacks, part of stepped-up assaults on Russian territory. 
Ukrainian drone developers have been extending the weapon's range for months as Kiev attempts to compensate for its battlefield disadvantage in weapons and troops. The unmanned aerial vehicles are also an affordable option while Ukraine waits for more U.S. military aid. Neither side currently has the capacity to make much of a dent on the around 1,000 kilometer, 620 mile front line. Ukrainian security and intelligence officials said they targeted a drone production site in Yelabuga, Tartarstan, uh, using Ukrainian produced long range drones. Tartarstan is known for its high level of industrialization, and a factory near Yelabuga has reportedly built Iranian designed Shahid exploding drones. The Ukrainian officials also said the intelligence services were involved in an overnight attack on the Nizhny camp's oil refinery. The officials spoke to the Associated Press on condition of anonymity because they were not authorized to comment publicly. It was a rare claim of responsibility as Kiev officials normally decline comment to a comment about attacks on Russian soil, though they sometimes refer obliquely to them. The Associated Press could not independently verify the claims. Russia has commonly used Shahid drones for aerial attacks on Ukraine, including major barrages deploying up to 90 of them at a time in a bid to overwhelm air defenses. Tatarstan officials said the attack didn't disrupt industrial production, while Nizhny Kamsk mayor said the attempt to strike the refinery was thwarted by air defenses. So they always say that they always say that they thwarted the attack, but then we get pictures or video online showing the opposite that it was actually hit. So um, I just wanted to bring this to your attention to let you know that Ukraine is still doing this, okay? They've been coming over over uh, like heavy bombardment throughout the past week. They got hit like three or four times in a matter of five days of massive waves of attacks by Russia, Russia launching uh, cruise missiles and drone strikes inside of Ukraine. But uh, Ukraine's doing everything they can to put the pressure on Russia here and take out their oil facilities and now their uh, their drone facilities too. We've seen like airplane uh, facilities come under attack near the Rostov region. Uh, just all kinds of different production facilities here getting hit. Steel facilities. They're still keeping up the pressure here, and now they're starting to use these larger drones that do much more damage. So let me know what you think down below. I just wanted to bring you this latest update. Let you know what's going on over here. If you got something out of this video, please smash the like button. And also, if you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing down below. Hit the notification bell. That way YouTube can notify you. And with that, I hope you all have a great day. Thank you so much for tuning in for this update. Everybody take care and God bless. We'll see you in the next one.